does not require any clarification. I am contented, complete, no problem. But the pro but the problem is Nisargadatta uh, Maharaj. Nisargadatta Maharaj says that he has seen the dissolution of the universes and uh, the bodies and everything. If he has a cancer in the body, let consciousness, you know, uh, bother about it. Uh, whatever is happening, whatever experience is happening, is all happening in the play of the consciousness. I am beyond consciousness and I don't care what the consciousness is doing. So here the confusion comes. Yeah. So if he if he is as your own experience. Others have said all kinds of things which are contradictory. You use whatever resonates with you and use it to see the truth for yourself. You say that in my experience there is no confusion left. Now, the problem is what Maharaj is saying. How can it be? <laughs> Maharaj could be talking to anyone. It could be just a different type of question answer session. He could be just having fun. You leave it. Okay, okay, fine. So, so uh, th this is answer. Uh, second thing is that uh, <clears throat> you know, n no guru talks about uh, once you have to the truth, you have uh, glimpsed the truth. Then, what happens afterwards? Nobody talks. Even including you, nobody talks. A little bit actually, Maharaj talks, but uh, other than Maharaj, nobody talks. So the thing is, the thing is that when I asked uh, Bhagwan Muji uh, three years back, uh, now what? What next? He said no next. Then I said, but uh, I is still there. Why don't you cut it? So he said it will evaporate like a camphor. Okay, but uh, he said don't touch I and just be silent. But after that, I started having a lot of panic attacks and my whole attention was on my body, mind, fear and everything. I just could not uh, remain as a witness. By grace, I am back now on this path. <clears throat> so the thing is, I, I have a glimpse, but if you, if you read Advaita and other things, then they say that uh, you know, I am Brahman uh, is uh, still a glimpse from the consciousness that it is Brahman. Okay, then I am has to dissolve because the Brahman is not saying I am Brahman. <clears throat> so this I am has to drop when only the Brahman remains in uh, Nirvikalpa Samadhi and then <coughs> whatever the God spits out, Whatever the residue, it spits out for you to uh, remain active in the world. And uh, sometimes it is a compassion, like for you. It is a compassion to teach. Maybe for uh, Bhagavan Muji, it's a compassion to teach. Some only have to do some seva. So whatever is the residue which comes out of the Nirvikal Smadi after dissolution, that is the way you live the life. Because the mind does not really extinguish totally 100%. Now this experience is not there. This experience is not there. Then <coughs> once you come back, like for you, you have a compassion, right? You want you want to be a teacher. Already people, in fact, you know, they they say, they smell your fragrance. They call you father, and uh, <coughs> you know this kind of a uh, love. You know uh, the love, the understanding which has to actually convert into the love. <coughs> as you see everybody uh, as one, not apart from you, this experience is not there. So how will how will this experience come? That means that means there is still to be done. I cannot I, I cannot just be happy like okay, I have seen the truth now, I have awakened and that's it. No actually. Because there is still an urge to go. Okay, so uh, I feel to say something about this. I don't feel actually it is true that 
we don't speak about once the glimpse of the truth is seen then what next because especially in the last few months where you've been there i've been sharing this that the recognition of the truth the seeing of the truth of what you are is not necessarily the predominant end of the sub of the condition full in the dissolution of condition it doesn't here necessarily mean that if the truth has been witnessed or the recognition or an awakening experience has happened it doesn't necessarily mean that it is the end of condition so what is it that leads to the end of condition so only what is the for that we have to understand what is the meaning of condition what is it that leads to the end of condition so where are these conditions these conditions are just ideas that we have attached to the presence of being now what happens is that as these ideas are being dropped i've been talking about diet you don't have to when you're on a diet you don't have to specifically say today i will focus on the food that i ate three days ago today i will focus on the food i had yesterday when you're dieting when you're not picking up new food then all that is has to be burned from the past is also getting burned on its own so as you are not buying any thoughts about anil and attaching them to the pure presence i am then all the previous conditioning will also take care of itself and as this conditioning is dissolving if you are not buying any ideas about yourself then you will find that this sense of amnesia also be, seems to become more and more transparent i know it seems to be heavier than it has a lot of ideas attached to it but as they are dropping now including the ideas that i haven't got this i should get this and then i will be free this is what this one says this is what that one says and then i will give myself the freedom certificate drop all these ideas because there is just attachments to the pure presence and as you rid yourself from all of these concepts you will come to this point where you see that the i amness is very transparent very light like this contact lens which you can't even feel and yet you know that it exists the rushing rushing i want this i it's been so long and i haven't got this this allow yourself now not go with that urge to pick up from the conveyor belt of thoughts just now and then this diet of dumping of conditioning you will find that it is thinning out in the sense of amnesia just seems like an auxiliary this point on any amount of trying or trying to mentally understand it or any amount of conceptual frameworks any amount of truth seeking in scriptures or in various masters words none of that is going to really help is your go openness your nakedness to 
try to cover yourself up with any ideas. For some of us, some fear can come, hmm. some anxiety can come about this. Remaining still in this way is very uncomfortable for the mind. Wants to come with a bite, but, but, but. Then one day, if you allow this mind to just come and move, one day you find that your mouth is just being used by the presence itself. Then you will find that there is great regions of love and peace emanates from you. Just give up all your trying and efforts. Allow this mind to come in. One being, one presence that speaks from here, that who is not different in any way. I look forward to hearing the same words which you share, accompanied by the fragrance. Love, peace, and joy. But one, uh, I just have a small uh, query. Uh, like for almost 20 years, I am on uh, anti-anxiety medicines. So <clears throat> they are keeping a lot of things uh, under the carpet. So the suppressed uh, energies which should come out in the process, they are not coming out. Uh, <clears throat> as soon as I reduce the medicines, uh, you know, ha havoc happens. You know, it's almost like uh, a Tandav, Shiva Tandav. That is what happens. Totally uncontrolled energies. <clears throat> so I, I have this uh, doubt uh, whether I should continue to keep them suppressed with the medicines or I should take a plunge and slowly, slowly, you know, taper off the medicines and let the suppressed energies come out. But it will be hell. It will really be hell. So what should I do?
having some experience of this in my life also i can say that there is no reason to subject yourself to any type of hell there will come a day with my master's grace where maybe these anxious thoughts anxious ideas anxious energies will be allowed to be released but there is no rush to play with that now see because here you're coming to more and more recognition more and more insights about who you are we don't have to add another factor into this and say okay let me now also deal with these suppressed energies no you come to this seeing and this dissolution of as much conditioning as possible and then grace will unfold in this way also when it is meant to so for now the feeling is to say that don't necessarily be in a rush to taper off or to feel i don't need this over there in fact i would say that just whatever your wife says you do you do that in terms of your medicine okay she, she says don't don't take pangas <laughs> she says do, don't uh, don't take panga <laughs> don't take panga yes it sounds like a good one <laughs> <laughs> okay okay thank you bhagwan thank you so much thank you thank you thank you for your grace bhagwan's grace thank you